Hello everyone. It's something I've been working on, well, for many decades, I would say, really, but more intensely and specifically in the last four months. I reviewed it with a lot of people around the world. I, it's called a conservative manifesto, and it's an attempt to begin the process of outlining a positive vision for the future on the center right and classic liberal front. I decided to entitle it a conservative manifesto. I played with the title something approximating a manifesto of canonical Western virtues, but I felt that was a weaker title. And I also felt that it was time to make a statement on the metaphysical level, let's say, on the center conservative side. Conservatives are very concerned with tradition and community and responsibility, and those are all virtues and values that have been under tremendous pressure in recent years. And so after reviewing both documents, because I, I wrote two versions, one on the canonical Western value side, I decided that the conservative manifesto title and conceptualization was stronger. Now, as I said, I'm trying to outline a positive vision for the future, and this is a very difficult thing to do. And this is a test case, I suppose, to see how people respond, because I would like people to respond well. I would like to outline a vision that's very enticing to people that wouldn't require compulsion to implement, that would get people on board voluntarily. And so anyways, this is a, a metaphysical inquiry. And so what might that mean? You can think about levels of profundity at the base, the most profound ideas are theological, for better or worse, by definition, because they deal with what's eternal and sacred. On top of that is a metaphysical foundation, and that's where philosophy lies, and then out of that emerges such things as normative communication and social policy uh, and normative discourse. And so this is a long ways down the hierarchy towards the foundation, but it's time for a discussion of foundational principles. Part of the culture war that's raging around us is in fact an argument about cultural fundamentals and so well i'm going to read this now it's long and it's difficult and i have to read it because it's pushing the limits of my cognitive ability and i had to write it i can't do it spontaneously it's too complex and so i hope you'll bear with me and you'll find it useful i suspect it will require several listenings for people who are really committed to it um, and you can choose to be committed to it or not as you see fit. So I'm going to launch into it. And it's titled, as I said, A Conservative Manifesto. Uh, that's a play a bit on the Communist Manifesto. This is A Conservative Manifesto. So I suppose one among many, and I don't imagine it'll be the last word on that front. It's not designed to be a propaganda tool. It's designed to be a, an invitation, let's say. And so, onward with it. A Conservative Manifesto. Introduction. A profound crisis of meaning currently afflicts, destabilizes, and demoralizes the sovereign citizens of the West and the social institutions upon which we depend. That crisis has increasingly spread to the remainder of the world's people, generating confusion and sowing distrust producing a counterproductive discord in place of the peaceful voluntary cooperation and competition that could instead reign over and unite us. That crisis is, in the first place, the consequence of a corrosive doubt sowed, not least, by the careless intellect regarding the value of the principles of value, aim and action that have heretofore inspired, guided, and stabilized us. That crisis is in the second place, the consequence of the historically unprecedented realization of our ignorance about the ultimate source, nature, and reality of those principles, and our resultant inability to formulate and communicate a clear moral justification for their existence. That crisis is in the third place, the consequence of the presumptuous, premature, and finally narrowly self-serving insistence arising from that doubt and ignorance, that nothing but the will to power, the willingness and desire to dominate and exploit, 
motivates all individual perceptions and actions and gives rise to and maintains all social institutions. That crisis is finally use of the frustration and resentment that necessarily arises when doubt, ignorance, and intellectual pride combine to demonize, divide, and exploit, to insist upon an impossible and final conceptual certitude, and to demand recognition of a false and unearned moral virtue. That crisis manifests itself in the idolatrous battles, simultaneously petty and terrible, that currently divide our world, in the disputes about identity that lead astray and render hopeless, in the stoking of suspicion between men and women, in the insistence that enmity must divide black, brown, and white, in the subjugation of the education that should enlighten to the ideologies that possess, in the cycle of accusation that threatens the trust upon which peace and prosperity necessarily depends, and in the panicked, anti-human, apocalyptic doomsaying that undermines the spirit of our sons and daughters. What can those of us who attempt to abide by and manifest a courageous faith in the traditional values of our past offer in such times? Not the thoughtless and instrumental appeal to cynicism and bitterness associated with the insistence that our social and political institutions are fundamentally unreliable, corrupt, and untrustworthy. Not the harsh and condemnatory exhortation or demand to accept and uphold a moral code noteworthy only for its joylessness, sterility, and tendency to forbid and damn. Instead, the confident and forthright transmission of the abandoned eternal verities to all of those who currently wander, thirst, and starve in their absence. What are the values of paramount importance to the conservative temperament currently crying out for rediscovery, reconsideration, and discussion? An inevitably incomplete but crucially necessary list might include humility, liberty, autonomy, truth, agency, identity, merit, responsibility, tradition, community, stewardship, justice, and unity.